Unilever's remote work revolution in manufacturing. Today, we're diving into the intriguing world of Unilever, a powerhouse in the consumer goods realm. Picture this, it's December 2021, and Unilever is on a mission, one that involves transforming its manufacturing game with a touch of digital magic. Meet Sarah Loftus, the maestro leading the charge as the head of futures engineering. Unilever embarked on a second pilot project to sprinkle some digital fairy dust over its manufacturing facilities. What's the scoop? They're aiming to make remote work a reality for factory employees. Yes, you heard it right. Remote work in manufacturing. Sarah's squad hit the bullseye in their first pilot, jazzing up a Brazilian facility with cutting edge sensors. These sensors were like the Sherlock Holmes of factory equipment, collecting real-time data. The twist? They crunched the numbers using cloud-powered machine learning applications. The result? The factory could groove to its rhythm remotely, all from a technician's cozy kitchen. Now, Unilever's gearing up to take this digital dance global. Algorithms are in the works to boost efficiency and performance across Unilever's extensive network of factories. Why, you ask? To score big on cost savings and cut down on energy consumption, of course. But hold your horses. The journey isn't a stroll in the park. Sarah's eyeing a grand vision, a global virtual operations room. Imagine operators donning their pajamas while overseeing production at all. 200 Unilever manufacturing sites worldwide. It's the work from anywhere revolution knocking on the doors of manufacturing, fueled by the urgency of the post-COVID era. Yet with great ambitions come even greater challenges. From ensuring factory safety to navigating the labyrinth of global labor laws, it's no easy feat. And let's not forget that the rise of algorithms might nudge human decision-making off the stage. The question looms, can Unilever strike the right balance? But wait, there's a silver lining. Remote work isn't just a perk, it's a potential game changer for Unilever's workforce. It opens doors for employees to embrace the remote lifestyle. Plus, a global virtual control room could become the hub for sharing best practices and turning the workforce into digital maestros. Fast forward to January 2022 and Sarah and her team are gearing up for a powwow in Brazil. Their mission, to dissect the opportunities and risks of this global virtual operations room. The spotlight's on and they're sketching out a blueprint for managing the future manufacturing workforce. The end goal? A network of fully digitalized factories is managed remotely from a virtual global operations room. Can Unilever pull it off? Let's find out together. And hey, before we move forward, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. You wouldn't want to miss out on the exciting content I've got lined up for you in the future. Journey to Digitization in 2018, Unilever embarked on a technological odyssey, crafting what tech maestros call digital twins. Imagine a virtual doppelganger, a mirror image of a physical entity, be it factory machinery, a car, or even a wind turbine. These digital twins, fueled by sensors connected to the internet, gathered real-time data on everything from energy usage to product characteristics. Why does this matter? Well, these virtual replicas became playgrounds for machine learning, allowing engineers to fine-tune factory systems from afar. It's like having a puppet on strings. Only the strings are made of data. Technicians, armed with machine learning algorithms, could predict when a machine needed TLC or a replacement, a game changer in predictive maintenance. Unilever wasn't alone in this tech voyage. Tesla used digital twins for cars, airports, monitored operations, and even healthcare facilities hopped on the digital twin bandwagon. And then came the ultimate test, the COVID-19 lockdown. Unilever engineers, armed with digital factory architecture and digital twinning, remotely configured control systems to detect safety alerts and operational KPIs. Picture control room operators run factories from their homes, ensuring the show went on even in challenging times. Digitizing soap and beyond, a technological ballet. In 2018, Unilever's Brazilian Dove Soap Factory became the stage for a groundbreaking pilot program. The plot? Digitize manufacturing operations. 
Here's where the Internet of Things, IoT, stepped in, allowing factory equipment to transmit data collected by sensors. Open platform communications, OPC servers, ensured universal translation of this data, while advancements in cloud technology stored this treasure trove of information. Data, once imprisoned in local silos, found liberation in the cloud. Unilever's secret weapon? A data lake built on Microsoft's Azure Cloud acts as a centralized repository. Andrew McDonald, the guardian of Unilever's digital realm, emphasized the democratization of data. But with great power comes great responsibility. Enter the cybersecurity guardians, shielding the digital twin and PLCs from cyber threats. The analytics hub, decoding data for progress. Parallel to the Digital Twin Initiative, Sarah Loftus, the virtuoso leading the charge, established an analytics hub, a common platform where data danced within and across Dove factories, setting the stage for synergy. Algorithms, the choreographers of this dance, synthesize data and set parameters around key decision points. The impact was palpable. Spreadsheets took a back seat as algorithms stepped into the spotlight. The Hammond factory witnessed material waste cut by half thanks to its analytical prowess. The analytics hub wasn't just a remote team. On-site members validated data, ensuring a harmonious collaboration. Transforming the future, laundry detergent in the spotlight. In 2019, Unilever's detergent factory in Brazil joined forces with the power duo, digital twins and analytics. Imagine a tower, 140 feet tall, producing 700,000 tons of powder laundry detergent annually. Before digitization, human hands tweaked settings based on weather conditions, leading to inconsistencies in product quality. Enter algorithms, the unsung heroes. They automated the process, making real-time adjustments, resulting in consistent product quality. Time reduced, safety improved, and a 13% reduction in gas consumption mark the success of this tech marvel. Embarking on a virtual odyssey with digital twins and the analytics hub, proving their mettle in the Dove factories and beyond, Unilever set its sights higher. In 2020, Sarah Loftus and her team set sail on another daring pilot, this time involving the Dove factories in Valinos and Mannheim. Their mission, to test the waters of a global virtual operations room, a centralized hub where data analytics and factory operations harmonize into a symphony of real-time remote control. The pilot had two acts, Act 1 focused on creating a virtual team to analyze data and optimize operations using new control logic and set points, a natural progression from the analytics hub. Safety took center stage, with on-site teams validating algorithmic changes to mitigate risks. Dove factories, with processes reaching temperatures exceeding 238 degrees Celsius, left no room for errors. The aim was to complete this phase by March 2022. A Act 2 aimed for the stars, an entirely autonomous factory by early 2023, where no workers would roam the physical floors. Mariana de Oliveira Carvalho envisioned turning off the lights in local control rooms, ushering in a new era of fully remote operation. Decoding the symphony, autonomous decision-making, to make the global virtual operations room a success, Loftus believed in further automating decision-making. The future, she asserted, lies in organizing and parameterizing data so that most decisions become automated. For Unilever, this meant transitioning from manual to automatic adjustments in the soap and detergent-making processes. Consider this, while a general recipe guides Dove soap or OMO detergent production, Variables like machine performance, weather, and raw material quality could sway the actual dosage dispensed. Enter Digital Twins and the Analytics Hub, tools that allowed engineers and data analysts to record, compare, and adjust in real time. The goal? From manual tweaks to automatic adjustments, freeing up human talent for more strategic decisions. The benefits of a virtual operations room extended beyond the factory walls. Specialists trained on specific machines could troubleshoot issues globally, eliminating the need for physical presence. The stage was set for a transformative era where knowledge transfer, response time, synchronization, 
and enhanced agility took center stage. Navigating challenges, the uncharted territories, Yet, the team wasn't oblivious to the challenges ahead. Technical risks loomed large, with a complete reliance on evolving technology. Infrastructure stability, data streaming, and the sheer volume of information were significant concerns. But it wasn't just about the tech. Loftus pondered the labyrinth of labor and its cultural, legal, and safety implications. How does Unilever navigate varying labor laws, cultural nuances, and legal requirements across its global operations? Compensation, language barriers, and the resilience of the workforce posed additional puzzles. Harold Gutfleisch saw knowledge transfer as a beacon in this storm. Capturing the knowledge of a rotating workforce became vital for maintaining agility. However, even with these challenges on the horizon, the team remained steadfast, driven by the prospect of reshaping Unilever's manufacturing landscape. Charting Unilever's path, crafting the future workforce, as we near the end of our journey through Unilever's quest for remote work and manufacturing, the spotlight shifts to the heart of the matter, the future of Unilever's factory workforce. In the wake of their ambitious pilot projects, Sarah Loftus and her team found themselves at a crossroads. While the projects didn't alter workforce staffing levels, the looming prospect of full factory automation ignited a crucial conversation about what digitization meant for Unilever's workforce. Harold Gutfleisch emphasized the need for dialogue, recognizing the sensitivity of the matter. We don't have all the answers, but decisions won't be made in an office. We need to talk to the people who do the work to get their input, he shared. Unilever's manufacturing workforce had already undergone transformations since 2017, aligning with broader efforts to automate production. Kathy de Gouvier-Smith acknowledged the evolving landscape, stating, The roles within the factories will continue to move from more routine roles to jobs that require problem solving and process improvement. However, she also acknowledged a growing skills gap and the need for upskilling the workforce to meet the demands of evolving technology. Bridging the skills gap, a journey of upskilling. The shift towards automation prompted Unilever to consider upskilling its workforce. Transitioning workers from basic roles to technical operators became a focal point with a vision of investing in current basic operators to equip them with the technical skills necessary for higher level responsibilities. This transformative journey, often requiring a three-year certification, aimed to bridge the skills gap between evolving technologies and the workforce's capabilities. Global variations added complexity, with de Gouvier-Smith navigating differences in compensation rates, working hours, labor regulations, retrenchment pay, and local labor union contracts. The Future of Work initiative, launched in 2016, played a pivotal role in helping workers adapt to new technologies, providing training, and facilitating career transitions through online learning and entrepreneurship training. Challenges on the horizon, talent retention and market dynamics. The digitization wave brought forth its own set of challenges. Talent retention, particularly in highly digitalized factories, proved to be a challenge. De Gouvier-Smith noted the tug of war for highly specialized skills, where the market often pulled talent away, seeking rapid career progression. Balancing the desire for quick career advancements with the need for talent retention posed a delicate dance. The grand finale, crafting the vision of tomorrow, as Loftus and her team worked tirelessly on proof-of-concept options for the global virtual operations room, a myriad of challenges lay ahead. Safety and cybersecurity were paramount, with decisions looming around where remote technicians and process engineers could reside. Coordinating with technical operators scattered across global factory locations added another layer of complexity. The burning question lingered how to demonstrate the scalability of the pilot effort beyond the Dove factories. And so, our journey with Unilever reaches its pinnacle. The vision of a transformed, digitized future workforce stands on the horizon. Thanks for watching.